Uh, hello everyone, uh, Jeb from Jeb's Project. Now let's see what we have on the bench today. Well, back on the bench is the 600 watt uh, DX World E amplifier. And uh, today we're just uh, going to put the low pass filter board in and uh, we'll run through a little bit of what's hooked up here. Okay, you, you, as you know, the amp board here, and here's where it comes off the amp board, comes down to my uh, SWR bridge, off the SWR bridge, back to the low fast filter board. And we just drop this back down into place. Have it tight, whoop. Got to careful all my wiring here, make sure it stays up. Get back the other side of there. There's a stud that drops down into the heat sink. And then three L brackets. One down here, one over here, and one up here. That hold the low pass filter board in place. Keep it from moving. And there, sort of drops into place, clicks in of where I have my holes drilled. There's that one, and I've got one other one back over here. All right, let me get that bolted in real quick. That way, everything sets in place. We'll throw, yeah, well screw in here in a short bit this is a oh uh, pre not a prefab low pass filter board it's a board you can get in a kit from W6PQL uh, and uh, it covers 160 through 6 so that's perfect for this amplifier and it'll handle it's supposed to handle up to a kilowatt so that should be more than enough for this 600 watt amp. Here's my control wire over here. This is to control the relays for the uh, oh, low pass filter. This will come up to my control board. My 12 volt negative and positive for my relay board and the low pass filter relays. This is your, this is my, yeah, I'm using a piece of speaker wire. A little heavy, but this uh, is the bias of voltage wire. That can, will come across here all the way across and back around to this side. I have a set of, uh, oh, stick-on wire holders for those. So that'll hold it in place. This one, this set of wiring up here is for my relay board for be able to switch PTT antenna switching and uh, all bias it's and several other things and including the uh, the forward and reflect on the SWR bridge now I put the bridge in between the low pass filter and the amp so if for some reason the low pass filter doesn't get switched properly, it'll give me a high SWR and shut the amp down. That uh, will tell me rather the low pass filter is shut, shut, switching properly. That's to help protect the board, of course. And of course, you got your our attenuator, and we're all wired in through here, all the way up through to the antenna relay board. I have to mount the temperature sensor and that'll be mounted here on the heat sink here and then that'll come up across on this wire and come up through with this with this bunch here and then we'll we'll actually take these ferrites out of here and once they come up through the upper cover we'll put the ferrites on to block the RF and so it doesn't get into the upper deck okay well I guess that's the uh, 
the RF desk is pretty much ready to go except for putting the temperature sensor in which I'll do here in just a couple minutes and I'll bolt the low pass filter board back down and uh, get ready to start on the upper the control deck that gets another box set on top of this box so basically the RF section is all contained within the lower box and all the electronics will be contained in the upper box all right be back in a short bit okay well we've got all right wiring in a big old bundle here oh, set off the side nice and neatly up here connected neatly we got our temperature sensor connected and coming across so I gotta drill my hole through my upper case to run this wiring through and then drill holes across the back here for airflow all right well I'll be back when I get the upper cover on okay we got our upper box set on I got my air holes drilled here because I still got to cut the holes for the fans back here and cut for the display up up here in the front got the control board mounted over here on the side and that's a teensy 4.1 on a homebrew control board and uh, Arduino controlled and it'll have a touch screen display and uh, it's uh, it's coming along but I've finally got my holes drilled here brought my wires up through all my con uh, wires from the RF deck didn't have a, a uh, o-ring so I took some real thick uh, gorilla tape and created myself an o-ring to protect the wires so well we'll move on to getting the fans mounted getting the display mounted getting the uh, connector for the radio so that can control the low pass filters which is controlled with through the con through the board here but the radio connects right here at this point the radio will tell the uh, Arduino or the teensy which one to select off of here okay we'll be back after a bit hi everyone Jeb here on the amplifier this the project's been going on for a little over a year now. I know it shouldn't take that long to build one, which it, it wouldn't if I'd get right into it and do the whole thing at once. But it's having to take piece by piece as I get time. Got a lot of radio work going on right now. Got to be able to make money to be able to afford to build the amp. <laughs> I'm retired, so... I'm on a fixed income, so doing the radio work is what, what pays for the amp. So we'll be continuing. We'll get her done. It's just going to take some time, so please be patient. I'll try to answer any questions you have uh, as things progress. I'll get more into the controller uh, when we get to the point where everything is being hooked up and as I'm having to tweak little things here and there. So, thanks for being patient. Please like and subscribe. And we'll catch you in the next one.